On the way back in from bottom fishing, we decided to stop at the jetties and try to catch Spanish mackerel. Now Spanish mackerel are a smaller cousin to the king mackerel or kingfish as you might have seen in our videos or maybe you catch them and stuff like that. It's a popular fish and these are a close relative of them. Spanish mackerel start showing up generally before the kingfish do. Once the bait pods start coming in, the Spanish mackerel work their way up north. You find them a lot by these bait pods and also by structure such as the jetties and that's what we're fishing today. The jetties are a popular place to fish and for good reason. The structure along with the uh, river current flowing out meeting the ocean just creates a pretty good environment for bait fish and therefore bigger fish to congregate in. It started slow, but the bites started picking up at the south jetties. We found them right here on the uh, south side, right off the tip of the rocks here on the south side. Careful, two at a time. We were trolling small silver spoons behind the boat. We had one attached to a number one planer and we had the other one attached to a three ounce torpedo sinker. All about carbon copies. You should be able to weigh the planers are to really uh, turn however you want, yeah. Oh, there we go. That was on, was that on the clean or the dirty? Seems to be right over that break. About 11. Trolling for Spanish mackerel is pretty relaxing. It's not near as complicated as Wahoo. You know, we just had two lines out. We're trolling between four and five miles per hour. You know, with two lines out and with them staggered at depths, you know, you don't have to be real concerned about getting a tangle. You know, you can make sharp turns if you need to. It's a lot more relaxing of a fishing. We were catching most of our fish on the dirty side of the tide rip. The tide rip forms at the jetties and it's pretty noticeable. I mean, you can see there's a, you know, a lot of that brown water and then the cleaner ocean water coming together. And it creates a very distinct line. They don't really mix. It doesn't slowly blend. I mean, it's like river water here, ocean water here. What was interesting was that the Spanish mackerel were being caught in the dirty water. Seemed like they're hitting in the brown side. And normally, predator fish like you know king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, wahoo, prefer clear water because they hunt a lot with their eyesight. Yes, they use all their other senses to find bait, but a lot of it's based on eyesight when they actually strike. But these fish, you know, we were getting most of them in the dirty water. Come to find out, there was a lot of bait right where the ocean side dipped into the inlet. You see the St. John's Inlet was dug out so the ships could come to port. Well, when we crossed over and that there was that drop in the sand going from the ocean sand to the inlet, there were just big pods of bait all hanging over that drop. I mean, you can see on our recorder, just, just a ton of bait all conglomerated right there. 
and that's where the Spanish were. They were just outside feeding on this bait, and as our lures came across that, boom, that's where we get our hits. And it was good having the dirty water there. It probably actually helped because it makes them harder for the Spanish to see your terminal tackle. You know, they just see flashing, fluttering, looks like a, a, a fish, you know, a little shiny bait fish, glass minnow going through the water. So it worked in our favor that they were in this dirty water. The majority of our fish were being caught on our planer. And we noticed the other boats around us were catching theirs on planers too. But it was funny because our bigger fish came off the three ounce torpedo sinker, which was higher in the water column. I don't know. I don't know if the bigger fish were just hanging up higher, maybe, but that's just one of the things we noticed. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to kind of stagger them just to see, you know, what's biting where. Spanish mackerel are really pretty fish. They get that, you know, green back, um, which is, is I kind of see now why green lures do well. I also like to use them as bait. They make really good troll bait. You can troll them for big fish, dolphin, wahoo, marlin, or you can even rig them on treble hooks for big kingfish. I use the wahoo. So when they trip your planer, you can see your rod tip just bouncing away, you know, going crazy. And then you just bring them on in. You know, not as tough as the bluefish, but fun to catch. And the bud a little easier than a wahoo. Yeah. We were using spinning rods, you know, just basic 20 pound line, it had braid went to the planer and the trolling weight, and then had some uh, mono leaders between that and the little spoon. Pretty basic, you don't have to do anything real fancy for them. Just, you know, whatever you're fishing with that day for redfish or, you know, inshore fish like that. That's a big one right there. Spanish mackerel are fun to catch. You know, look from the jetties at the structure you have. Also bait pods, you catch them along the beach. I've seen big schools of them offshore over wrecks. So they're all over and they'll be out here throughout the rest of the summer. Pretty simple fishery, fun to get, you know, very relaxing. So go out there, give it a try. You know, we hope you do well. If you guys wanna see more videos, just subscribe to our channel. Got a bunch of videos up and a bunch coming this summer. So we'll see you next time.